All right, so today we're going to paint this kind of cloud. Here's the one of the drawings I've done or paintings. I've done them multiple times on different papers. This is the very first one I did on um, sanded paper. Besides painting on different types of paper, I created a couple sketches with ballpoint pen and with a graphite pencil. I never ever sketch, but for the sake of this lesson, I did a few times. I wanted to understand the process from the position of a student. Usually I just jump in and um, I jump in with pastels because it's a, such a forgiving medium. You can fix all your mistakes um, while you're creating your painting. So, but since we're just starting with pastels, we're going to simplify it. And I thought we'll start, start with a sketch. So I'm just going to box in the area where I'm going to create this pastel painting. I don't know, call it drawing or painting. I'm not sure. So I'm using Carbon Sketch by General's um, pencil. It's very easy to erase it. I can even erase it with my finger or with a kneaded eraser. I'm using basic Canson pastel paper. I chose just gray color, neutral kind of color. But for me, art is about experimenting, creating new effects, trying new things. I want to achieve freedom in every medium I try. But that only comes from playing with it. It's not from any kind of instruction, not following a teacher, but there's place and time for learning, but I say it's 10% of my time when I learn. The rest of the time, 90% of my time, I create, I play with it. I try different papers, different mediums. Um, it's just it's my playtime and um, I recommend that you spend most of your time experimenting. So now we're going to start with this sketch. Um, so this koala is sitting on a tree and he's kind of between two branches. Basic shape, kind of his head is round, right? And it's a very loose sketch. I'm simplifying. So round, let's split in half, that's where his nose going to go, below the bottom half, uh, because his head is round, nothing's going to stay on a straight line, we're going to create an illusion of um, roundness. We're going to give him big eyes, so that's where his ears will start, I'm thinking, in this line that I created for placing his eyes. He, he's got this kind of <laughs> cute smile, sort of a smile. Um, ears, they look like kind of like rectangles, parallelograms. And I'm just going to indicate 
by drawing these lines that his head is round to remind myself that it's round and then he's holding on to his branch that's it's got to be like this he's got a couple I don't know, fingers, claws <laughs> here his hand looks like this to me again we're not really concerned with realism with this painting. I'm gonna call it painting, okay? Um, eyes. So they are sort of round and then they come to a point. This one is gonna be a little smaller because his face is a little turned to the side in my photo. So round and then elongated towards the center. We're, we're not gonna worry about likeness. We're just going to play and um, try our hand and pastels and start learning about our style. And I hope everybody will have different result with this. Okay, he looks kind of funny right now, but we're not going to worry about it again. We can fix everything as we go. It's a very rough sketch. And um, we'll start from here. 